I'm Shannon. So one of the most common questions that I get asked on a daily basis is, Hey Shannon, what's your favorite Screamo band? Because of the stereotype, I wanted to talk to you guys today about some of my actual favorite bands. If you listen to any kind of music, you know that it's almost impossible to explain your whole music taste in a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to go very linear from the day I started listening to music all the way up until today, and hopefully I can get every major band or influence in my music taste crammed in there. Alright, so the first song I ever remember hearing was when I was about four years old, and it is DOA by the Foo Fighters. Obviously, I was four, so I didn't get into that by myself. My dad listens to a lot of alternative music and pretty much is the main influence in all of my music taste. When I myself really started finding my own music and getting into music on my own, my favorite band was the Jonas Brothers. My dad hated the Jonas Brothers and I blasted that shit more than anything. So one day in about fourth grade, he told me that if I was going to listen to my music loudly, it needed to be good music, which is when he introduced me to all of his favorite bands. Some of these include Radiohead, The Grateful Dead, U2 When They Didn't Suck, The Gorillas, and The Killers. He also introduced me to my two all-time, 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 all-time favorite bands, which include Muse, which is literally my I Will Ride or Die with Muse, and The Arctic Monkeys. I think I have listened to Muse almost every day from the day that I first heard about them in fourth grade. I love them dearly. Matthew Bellamy is my god. In my opinion, their best album by far is The Resistance, which was released in 2009. Off that album, the best songs would have to be Undisclosed Desires and United States of Eurasia. Exogenesis Symphony Parts 1, 2, and 3 are all so underrated in my opinion. It is so beautifully composed, I could go on about it forever. Off of the Resistance album, I think my favorites by them are TSP, Thoughts of a Dying Atheist is also a really, really good song. I'm pretty sure those are both off of Absolution. Arctic Monkeys, I'm literally so ready for the shitstorm I'm gonna get from all the hipsters that only know AM, but by far, Favorite Worst Nightmare destroys AM. I don't care what you say, Favorite Worst Nightmare is literally the best. Alright, so about 2008, I think I was 11 years old, and these were my scene days. As much as I really hate admitting that this was like a huge portion of my life, it was, and the really horrible electronic scene music that I used to listen to kind of segued me into the music taste that I have now, so I do not regret a thing. I started listening to really, really shitty electronic music like Dot Dot Curve and Broken Side. If you've never heard of these bands, good for you. This segued me into like okay electronic music. I listened to a lot of Breathe Electric, Steven Jerzak, Disco to the Stars, Oh, and how could I forget 303? Their music is, uh, I'd like to say, catchy. Some of the good electronic artists that I still listen to to this day include The Postal Service, Passion Pit, I still listen to The Ready Set. The only dubstep artist that I really still listen to is Knife Party, and I really love the song Bonfire. So my freshman year of high school started a really weird period of time for me because I was dressing in Hollister but I still had like colored hair and I wasn't really sure like where I fit in and I started listening to really really weird music and like weird varieties of music. I started off listening to MGMT. Probably my favorite songs of all time are Flash Delirium and Time to Pretend. You've probably heard the songs Kids and Electric Feel at some point in your life and you just don't realize it. So at the same time that I was listening to MGMT, I was listening to a lot of Never Shout Never. He was my first ever concert, like real concert. I saw Hannah Montana when I was in like first grade. I don't know if that counts. So I think Time Travel is the best album that he's ever put out. I actually stopped following him a while ago, so Time Travel is the last album I've heard. So Never Show Never isn't really true indie, I would say he's more pop, but his indie style and like his indie attitude and everything kind of led me into listening to other indie bands, like actual true indie style folk music. Some of my favorites are Seawolf. I love Eagle Seagull, his voice is really weird. There's this guy, his name is Chad Vanga Allen, I think. I literally have no idea how to pronounce it. And oh, I forget 
his songs off the top of my head, but he's another one of those people where if you like unique, unique voices, not mainstream, not cookie cutter voices, but really unique, interesting voices, you would like Chad Venga Allen. My favorite of all time in this genre is Blind Pilot. Everything about this band is extremely acoustic, rustic, good vibes kind of band. And to kind of like pull together this whole section, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you will know Bonnie Bear or Bon Iver. Everyone knows Skinny Love. So basically all these bands are kind of like Bony there. My sophomore year is the year where like everything started to really take a turn. It was like really dramatic change in my music taste. September of my sophomore year, I accidentally found the song Game Freak by Ghost Town the day it came out because I'd been subscribed to Alistair for a while before that. If you follow me and you don't know who Ghost Town is, props to you for being oblivious. They're they're a really talented group of people. I heard Mariana's Trench on the first tour that they ever went on with Mariana's Trench, obviously, and I completely fell in love. So I love Mariana's Trench. They're also so incredibly talented with harmonizing and just actually writing music. If you listen to their earlier stuff and go all the way through their most recent stuff, like Pop 101, which is also one of my favorite songs, you can just hear them progress as songwriters. They're just really talented musicians and they're extremely raw. And Josh Ramsey has one of my favorite voices I think I've ever heard. So I also got into Breathe Carolina and Breathe Carolina is when one of my rider dies as well. One of their best songs I think is Wooly. But I also started listening to more like 90s rock. I'm not really sure why because no one introduced me to this. I wasn't really alive long enough in the 90s or aware enough in the 90s to know any of these bands, but they just kind of showed up in my music vocabulary one day and I kept them there. So like bands like Beck, Everlast, Incubus, Chevelle, I think that's how you say it, Chevelle, Bush, House of Pain, the Beastie Boys. I also really got into the Beatles like my sophomore year of high school, maybe even earlier than that. There's, I can't even talk about the Beatles because I feel like I'm being blasphemous even if I'm complimenting their work because nothing explains the genius. I recently really got into Bring Me The Horizon and I really only know Seb Eternal. It's a great album, there's literally not a fail song on that album. Okay, if someone's gonna like rage quit when I say this because they're gonna be like, you were doing so well, Shannon, until you said this. I love Black Veil Bride. Um, Sleeping With Sirens, yeah, I know I'm really late, but I just kind of found out who they were like a little while ago. Um, Nirvana. Seeing it as um, DOA by the Foo Fighters is the first song I've ever heard in my life or can remember hearing. I don't know why it took like 14 years to listen to Nirvana because Dave Grohl and I have a spiritual connection. Yeah, Nirvana's really good, so I, don't really, I can't really elaborate. This is another Beatles moment where no matter what I say is gonna be blasphemous no matter how complimentary I'm being just because. So if you know any of the songs or bands that I've mentioned, Leave me a comment telling me what you think of those bands. And also, question of the day, leave me a comment with your favorite artist and your favorite song. And I will look all of your suggestions up and pick my top three favorite and give you guys a shout out in my next video if I pick your song. All right, I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you guys so much. I hope I've given you some new music. I hope you know a little more about me. I will see you in a few days. Bye, kitties.